Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, and I'm with Steph Walker, who's the boss lady of the agency. Now, it's well known that I'm a huge fan of the self-employed estate agency model, and I was derided back in 2017 when I said that I believed 20 to 30% of the industry would be self-employed by the late 2020s. Um, why should self-employed estate agents seriously consider the agency? Talk to me. We've built um, TA UK uh, on several sets of principles. It's you and Andrew, isn't it? Myself, um, Andrew Vass and Mark Bruce, okay. both my business partners. Um, and I think we look to uh, offer a couple of, of solutions. We're a genuine believer in that there is the importance in a brand. Me as an individual, I love brands. I like my designer handbags. I like shopping at Waitrose and John Lewis. Um, I drive a BMW, probably as poorly as every other BMW driver out there. But you know, that little stick on the left-hand side, that's your indicator. <laughs> okay. I'm not allowed to drive. Andrew does the driving, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, they're, 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 they're the kind of things that, that I like. Um, and I know there's lots of other people out there that either feel the same as me, and there's obviously a group of people that don't. Um, but we feel that there is power in numbers. And we all know one of the oldest phrases in the estate agency handbook is boards breed boards. And so if we can grow slowly across the UK with quality business partner agents, each in their local area, they will be able to benefit off the back of the brand as a whole. Which I feel, you know, going into self-employed agency is not for the faint hearted. Right. It's got its rewards, but it's got its risks. OK, so you have a brand. What else? <laughs> um, for me, I think the beauty of TA UK is our people. And that should actually be the deciding factor uh, regardless of where you go. I think the split in a large sense is irrelevant. I think it's what about 80-20. It's not bad. No. And what do you get for that? Well, let me answer the first question first. All right. um, I think really the, the question is not why people should join TA UK. The question that the agent should be asking themselves is, who do I want as my business partners? Agreed. And I think that's, re that's more important than 80, 20, 70, 30, I, I, all I, of that. People, I get asked all the time, who's the best self-employed model? And I say, it's the relationship that you have with the, with the, with the people at the, bottom, the other end. Yeah. 100%. Absolutely. The, the split is irrelevant. 100%. 100%. Unless it's something ridiculous. Right. But yeah, within reason. Um, so, yeah, we, we really thought that building a team of like-minded people because, um, again, I suppose there's a frustration for me within the self-employed world in that there's businesses being built again on lots of employed middle management. You don't go into self-employed agency wanting a boss. That's not the purpose. And it galls me, it galls me that people that are getting paid a basic wage are trying to convince others to go self-employed. Probably the, the, the strongest feeling I have, it, have in agency is that is terrible. So... Sorry, we're talking about self-employed models who employ, yeah, employ people. Yeah, loads of bloody area managers and all that kind of nonsense. It's a fallacy. Because if you're gonna, if you're gonna launch your own business, Chris, uh, either as a powered by or under a you know a brand like ours yes you still don't want me as a boss do you yeah but they're a guide or a mentor the fact that how they're paid is irrelevant isn't it no i, I don't believe so okay go on expand i i, I believe that if you were going to go self-employed as an agent you yeah. will have much greater trust in me if i'm on a similar journey so this is my business. I'm a business owner. Ah, isn't that interesting? Because there's, you know, there's one model that has market centres and the one where the two people in the market centre actually are co-owners, both of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, s appear to be more successful than the others. Yeah. OK. I, do, I am aware that others, there are others that have similar, but they're the ones that particularly shine out. But you'd also, I think you'd feel better as an agent choosing one of them, right? 
because you think we're in this together. We're we're going through not the same struggles, but we have. But surely the way so I, I don't disagree with you. All okay? right. Yet at the same time, there are some really decent people who are being paid a salary to guide and support their people. Yes, except the noise that they make is all around the recruitment bit, which I get for some business models. It's a bums on seats situation. Well, okay. bums on okay. virtual seats. OK, so there's some models out there whose sole job is to bring people in. But then there are other agencies. And again, I'm pointing that I, it, me, I'm saying this, the EXP model is one that's quite obvious, where they're incentivized to take a share of the, of the, of the fee. Oh, but that's different, right? Why is it different? Because there is a little bit of onus there that if you're going to bring somebody in and earn something off the back of them, you should be giving them some help and support. Agreed. That's not being paid a salary and, and preaching from the point of comfort every month. OK, so you're saying you've got a decent brand, good support, and the fact that you're not paid a salary means that you've got skin in the game. Absolutely. Anything else that makes you different? So I think, you know, from our perspective, choosing the right technology was absolutely key. Uh, we have, we're developing our own suite of technology services, okay. which I think are going to be brilliant. But even down to our CRM, we went out, we talked to a lot of them that were out there. We trialed one. Um, we've gone with a piece of tech from Australia that's built for self-employed brokers. That's how it's built. It's intuitive. It's brilliant. That piece of kit is fantastic. I think above and beyond the personal support, I don't think any of the other models that I'm aware of give as much bang for their buck on a monthly basis. So 20% is not bad, is it? 20%, but you know, everybody has a monthly fee. Nobody pays a monthly fee with us for the first three months. It gets people off the ground. But everything's included. Business cards, letterhead, comp slips, brift or home search, depending on which one they want. Um, yes, you're right, maybe Zoopla, you're booming. Oh, God. Should we, we talk about booming? That'd be interesting. Um, you know, uh, traditional marketing materials. Digital marketing, which we know there's going to be a big change on that coming very soon. Uh, we'll find another route to support that. But support with local community, um, networking and marketing and all of these things. We spend an awful lot of money to make sure that everybody gets a really good runoff. You know, we're only a year old. We're coming up to 50 agents at the end of this week. Got some real great people joining us this week, which is bad. amazing. Again, it's not about the numbers for us, but I hope that that number to the people that are kind of on the fence of maybe even considering this as a journey, have a look on the website, give any of our agents a call. Don't call them too often because they're busy selling houses, but you know, here and there. Because do you think, do you think you know, if you don't mind me saying, you've, you're not really shouting that much, or has that been deliberate? Absolutely de deliberate. Absolutely deliberate. We are going quietly about our business, apart from this, obviously, now, okay. um, but quietly about our business because what I don't want to see happen is people try, not quite have the support that they need, because every agent's support is different. Um, and then we potentially lose people from their industry, from our industry, sorry. So, you know, the big risk that people are taking is perhaps they're going to burn through some life savings. So you'd rather go, out, go about it doing quietly competent. And if you do get them in, you want to keep them because you don't want to lose them to someone else or the industry. Or, or yeah, absolutely. You know, I think there is some very key things that people can do. And it's boring stuff, right? Setting up a self-employed estate agency is boring day in day out the excitement bit is getting into that living room with that customer and taking them on that journey but we've got a year now um, uh, of successful agents we can track what you should do and when you should do it but the choice is yours you can take all of our advice or take none of it um, often those that do take it in terms of what you can do to get your business off the ground running more quickly uh, or successful more quickly believe it or not um, but I think you know we are very, very interested in making sure that we're investing our time and our resource to make people successful, to build a brand that, you know, our brand looks good. I don't think that's me being big headed saying that. I think it looks premium, but it can walk across all um, sides of the market. Um, and we know what we're doing, you know, Mark Bruce is out there, um, half of his role is as an agent, one, because he's a bloody good estate agent. But you've got somebody there living and breathing what you're doing and you know, almost being the guinea pig for lots of the different things that we test. You know, if we're going to spend some more money on Rightmove. Um, 
I know it's horrible. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, we're, we're, we're doing it with Mark alongside uh, it, it, the agents in that respect, which I think is a really interesting part. But you know what? We're just a bunch of really good, hardworking estate agents who are proud to be estate agents, love our industry. Um, and I think if people are looking to be a part of something a little bit bigger than themselves, which is often quite special, um, and they want to have some fun and, uh, while they're doing it, probably TA UK is a very good option for them. Thank you for your time today. Uh, boys and girls out there in the state agency land, you know I'm a massive fan of the self-employed estate agency model. And uh, an awful lot of models have uh, offered me incentives to recommend one over the other. Um, I pride myself in not taking any kickbacks from anyone, um, even self-employed estate agency models. Um, I must admit, I've been particularly impressed with Steph. Um, you were due to come up here a few months ago, but unfortunately, uh, were unable to make it because you said you were too busy. And I thought to myself, well, doesn't she want to uh, extol the virtues of, of the agency? Um, but I'm glad you did come up, and uh, it's obvious that you're passionate. So thank you for your time today. Do do check them out. Thank you. Thanks.